Welcome to Metal Gods TV with Mick the Beard. Hi, you here with Mick the Beard again at Bloodstock Festival, and I am with the guys from Hell. That's right, I'm Kevin. The brothers from Hell, indeed, yes. <laughs> uh, you guys have sort of got a sort of legendary status now. I mean, how's that feel? Legends in our own lunchtime. <laughs> <laughs> now, I mean, it's just, you know, for a band to kind of disappear in 1987 then come back you know all this time later and get the kind of reception that we got it's just it's just mind-blowing you know we're we, 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 we kind of waking up every morning just you know giving it this one to, to, to see if it's actually real and it is and it's just amazing the crowd today were just just fantastic and yeah, you know, we're so grateful to everybody for the, for the you know for the support um, I mean the album's doing really well uh, it's charted well in, in, in a lot of countries now and um, you know we just even though we do have a, a history um, to probably 90% of the metal band public we're a brand new band with its first album so um, you know next year we'll start you know, really getting out there working hard and touring hard and uh, um, and you know just kind of take it to as many people as we as we possibly can I know you've, yeah. you've just done a sort of mini tour haven't you I mean I know you did MFN and that's in my neck of woods that is. that's right it's in our neck of woods as well it's our local gig that yes yeah, yeah. Uh, we started off there because we felt it was important to do a show near to home because uh, that's where the fan base was predominantly originally and we felt like um, the band owed, owed that at least to people and also it's kind of a, a tentative step out there to, 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 to like learn the craft because the band had never played live I mean, this is actually uh, only the eighth show we've ever done is it yeah, yeah. it's only the eighth gig we've played which it's is strange, isn't it? scary really stranger than fiction yeah. indeed <laughs> yeah, yeah. come back and see us in a year and, you know it'll be uh, It'll be ripping. It seems to be a weird uh, phase we're going through again. It's like it seems to go through like 20-year cycles. I think metal. You sort of do. The 80s was big. The 90s was so-so. And now it's sort of coming and resurgence. It's like people are rediscovering the old band. Say, where are they? Let's get them out touring again. Yeah. I, I think you're right. It, it's not so much the old bands. I think that metal as a music form over the past five or six years it's really started to lose its way um, I mean back in you know back you know back when we were active first time around in the mid 80s you know if if you're in a band that sounded even remotely like another one I mean people would just you know rip out of you mercilessly whereas now it just seems to be almost compulsory that you've got to have blast beats on the drums you've got to have you know growl vocals you've got to have the guitar player doing exactly the same swept arpeggios and there's just no originality there anymore and whilst you know the tech standard of the playing is just amazing if you know once you actually you, you take all the kind of production out there's no song there um, and I think what what hell represents is a, is a return to just good old-fashioned songwriting really you know you've got verse chorus verse chorus middle eight lead break it, it, it's it's you know it, it's structured um, and you know people people will always like that I think so uh, you know as I've said to somebody else today already maybe it just wasn't meant to be first time around, uh, but you know maybe our time is now. You know maybe all this is just no, kind of no. happened for a reason. You know, um, so. it's, it's nice that we're getting such a lot of young people listening to it, and they, they, it sounds very very fresh to them because there are no other bands around that sound like we do, and they, so it's new to them, uh, which, which is kind of delightful really. It must be good for you guys though to look out and not see older guys watching you now. I mean, well, that's yeah. a good thing. I mean, I, I, I kind of thought that when we started gigging, I thought that when the sun comes out, we're all going to get blinded. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> all the specs in the audience. Um, and it's, it's not been like that. We've had a real variety of people at our shows, and it's, it's lovely to see the, the older fans are saying that we're not disappointing them, and the band is true, and it's, it's, it's the band that it always was. Uh, and yet the, the, the new people, the younger people are involved with it too, and they, they can see that it's got merit and value and it's, they're excited about it, it's, it's yeah, terrific. I mean, you know, the, the young kids that have been into metal for you know for the last five years, they've just gr grown up on a diet of what we've just been talking about and suddenly for this to you know, land, land in their ears, it's, it's just something completely, you know, completely new to them. So. So, yeah, it's, it's amazing how many, like, say those sort of kids, you, you talk to them about metal and you say, Dio, who? And you yeah. think, what? <laughs> why don't you know that? And then you play it to them and you think, why haven't we heard this before? And like, yeah. I think you guys are coming on the back of all that, which is, which is good for you. It's good, yeah. yeah. I mean, we're just having a blast doing yeah. this. We really are. You, we, you can probably tell. Yeah. You know, <laughs> ear to ear groups and stuff. Yeah. But no, it, it is. I mean, we, yeah, we just consider ourselves immensely fortunate uh, to have, you know, been given this, this kind of opportunity. 
Um, as I said, eighth show, main stage at Bloodstock. You know, you, you, couldn't, you couldn't make it up, could you? Really? So. Somebody said it's a Roy of the Rovers story. It is. And it is. It is a Roy of the Rovers story. Yeah, back of the net. <laughs> yeah. You need a, an anvil type video now, don't you? <laughs> yeah. See, the thing is, the difference between us is that we're actually a good band. <laughs> Edit that bit out. Yeah. <laughs> As we say, we're playing with Anvil soon. You yeah, we're, we're actually we're, we're doing a gig with Anvil on the Sweden Rock Cruise. I like um, Tom Hank. There's, there's us, Anvil, Dark Funeral, Exodus, and who else is on? Is it one of the bands, I think. Yeah. There's so many bands now, I can't keep up. But, you know, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's... I need a PA yeah. to inform me about things. Thousands of drunk Swedish metalheads on a ship with uh, with five or six bands on. That sounds terrible, doesn't yeah, it? That's going to be good. Don't get locked in a room with lips on your own, because it will talk you to death. <laughs> we'll, we'll try. <laughs> so what's next on the horizon for you guys now, from here? Uh, uh, Germany, next. Yeah, we've got a day off, then we go to Germany to do the Summer Breeze Festival. Uh, and then there's in a little... the dark? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we've got lighting rig, smoke, everything. Um, and then we've got uh, the next thing coming up is a little club show in Ireland. Um, we've got um, the Sweden Rock Cruise, then we're straight off the ship to Athens for a show there. And then we've got, um, there's a show in December supporting Sabaton at Coco in London. And that, that really is just about it for this year. And, I mean, the reason why you know, there's so little live work going on at the moment is because, you know, we've all still got day jobs. Um, and obviously Andy Sneep, you know, very much in demand as a producer, he's got the Testament record to finish off. And he's got the new Accept one to, to start work on as well. So, um, but, you know, next year, oh, yeah. next year we'll... Uh, well, like you say, it's hit you like a thunderbolt at the moment, so you're sort of still in the day, so you yeah, it's, 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 be fine. Everything's been a revelation, and we, we just we don't know what's going to happen next, really, um, because everything's happened so far has been a complete surprise, and, you know, a delightful one. We, we feel very, very grateful to the record label Nuclear Blast and to, to Andy Sneep as well for starting the ball rolling. And have you got a final message for the people who are watching you out there? Um, Really, on behalf of the whole band, I mean, thanks so much to everybody that supported us so magnificently well today. I mean, we really are intensely grateful. You know, we don't take anything that you guys do for granted. Uh, we love it that you come and see us play. We love what you say about us. Um, you know, we love the fact that you'll stand in queue to get stuff signed. And, uh, you know, we do this for you. End of, end of story, really. And, uh, you yeah, know, obviously, thanks so, to you guys for... No audience, no band. No, exactly. So thanks. Thanks a lot, guys. Great to talk to you. Thanks a lot. Thanks Thank a you. lot. Cheers. May God have mercy on your soul.